Not only am I cooking today, but I'm also sharing with you the experience of my very first HelloFresh food box. Now, for those of you who don't know what HelloFresh is, it's a weekly subscription food delivery service. I was given a referral offer by friends who absolutely rave about it. The offer was three meals for two people for free, worth about £30. Now there's an offer I couldn't refuse. So I signed up, gave my bank details and chose my first three meals. Now before my first box arrived, I received an email prompting me to order my next box before the cutoff date. Now, I really didn't want to order a second box before I'd tried the first one. However, a very nice lady on the help desk said she would pause that week's delivery. An important point here is, if you forget to order by the cutoff date, I think you may well receive meals for which you will be charged. Now, this is not an unboxing video. This one's empty. Also in the box, there were three recipe cards, each with a number. There were four bags of ingredients, three paper bags also numbered with the recipe, and a fourth bag, a plastic bag, with chilled ingredients which had to go into the fridge. Also in that bag were a couple of ice bags and some insulation material. The recipe I'm cooking today is pork and apple burgers with rosemary wedges and rocket salad. I had intended to cook this meal on the barbecue outside, but owing to the weather, I'm in the kitchen. Now, check out my other channel, The Barbecue Walk of Flame, and see how to cook more delicious burgers. The idea behind the food box is the ingredients are just enough to make that meal with no waste. In the bag, we have some of the ingredients with the rest in the fridge. I'll just check them off the recipe card. A sprig of rosemary. One apple. Panko breadcrumbs. Burger buns. Rocket. Potatoes. Pork mince. There's cheese, lemon, sage and apple jelly, but no pork mince in the pack the main ingredient and it's missing. Hello Fresh, the opportunity to impress a new customer and you've let yourself down badly. It's now a trip to my butchers to replace that missing pork mince. I've now got the mince and can crack on. The recipe card is really easy to follow. First turn on the oven to 200 degrees C. Pick the rosemary leaves from the stalks. A tea towel will stop the chopping board sliding all over the place. To chop the leaves finely, I'm using a mezzaluna. The twin blades make light work of chopping this rosemary. With the potatoes out of the packaging, I'm cutting them into wedges. You will get six wedges from each potato. Now I'm going to deviate from the recipe card a little by putting the potatoes into a bowl and then a drizzle with oil, season with salt and pepper and sprinkle on the rosemary. Now get your hands in and mix well to ensure the wedges are all coated. Arrange the wedges on a roasting tray and pop into the oven to bake for 25 to 30 minutes. Now for the burgers. Just unpacking the pork mince from my butchers. I'm grating the apple with the skin on, on the coarse side of the grater. With the grated apple in a clean tea towel, squeeze out as much juice as possible or you'll end up with a soggy burger. To a mixing bowl, add the pork, 
grated apple, and panko breadcrumbs. Season with salt and pepper. Get your hands in and mix well. Now divide the mixture into two halves and roll each one into a ball and flatten into a burger patty. I'm using a burger press just because I have one. So place the ball into the ring and give it all a good press down. And there you have one pork and apple burger ready for the pan. And that's two. At this point, I would put them into the fridge to firm up for an hour or so. But as I'm cooking from the HelloFresh recipe, which should take about 35 minutes to complete, I'll give this stage a miss. A spray of oil to coat the pan and then let it get nice and hot. In go the burgers to cook on a medium heat. Now to make the salad dressing. Half the lemon. In a small bowl add two tablespoons of olive oil. One teaspoon of sugar. I'm using icing sugar. It dissolves much quicker. And then the juice of half a lemon. Give it all a good whisk. And that's the salad dressing done. Flip the burgers after five to six minutes. And when cooking burgers, never press them down. It just squeezes any juices out of the pate and leaves you with a very dry burger. Now grate the cheese. I would have preferred a cheese slice to top the burgers with, but that's just my preference. Halve the buns and pop them into the oven just for a minute or two to warm up. Empty the bag of rocket leaves into a bowl. Drizzle with the salad dressing and then toss the leaves to coat them. With the heat turned off the burgers, top with the grated cheese and then cover the pan for the cheese to melt. Spread the buns with the sage and apple jelly. I would have liked to be a little bit more generous with this because it really does taste nice. Now for the burger and they really do look good. Remove the wedges from the oven to accompany the burger. Serve with the rocket salad. And there you have it. The HelloFresh pork and apple burger with rosemary wedges and rocket salad.
I must say that was a delicious meal. Thanks to my butcher for supplying locally reared pork mince. Now you will see very soon another version of pork and apple burgers on my other channel, The Barbecue Walk of Flame. The three meals chosen were barbecued chicken with black bean loaded wedges, oven baked risotto with bacon and mushroom, and the pork and apple burgers that I've just cooked. Of the three meals, two of them were absolutely delicious. The barbecued chicken and black bean loaded wedges I didn't like, but then Taste is a personal thing, so I suppose two out of three ain't bad. Here's a photo of the onion supplied for the risotto. It was soft, mouldy and anything but fresh. It went in the bin and was replaced with a fresh one from our veg basket. As for the ingredients supplied for the burgers, well, without the pork, I suppose I could have made an apple fritter. In my view, HelloFresh is a lifestyle service. The folks who referred me are a busy working couple who I suppose appreciate having a complete meal in a bag. With no waste, no meal planning and tasty dishes all at a reasonable cost. That is if the main ingredient isn't missing. I don't want to have to choose meals over a week in advance or have to remember to pause the service when I don't want anything delivered. And if a box arrives with an important ingredient missing that's just an added frustration and inconvenience. HelloFresh needs to check, double check and check again their boxes before they go out. And this is why my subscription was cancelled. If you found this video useful then please subscribe to my channel. Just click the button below and the notification bell. Oh and while you're there give us a thumbs up. Well, that's all for now, so it's goodbye from me and thanks for watching.